showing your love and support. Press conference 
and he then dedicated a large chunk of his daily press conference to Julian's case, raised it directly with Biden and offered Julian, if he wanted it, sanctuary in Mexico. And because he set that example, others have joined in. And it was wonderful to see Lula Ignacio da Silva elected as president of Brazil and straight away to come out in support of Julian Assange. So you have, you have the presidents, you have the presidents of two very large, very important populist countries of Latin America. You also have the support of President Petro in uh, Colombia and many others. So we are building up international support and the campaign in the United States, in Australia, in Europe and many other places is very important. And last month at the Council of Europe, where, which I'm a member of in Strasbourg, the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, the, we had an event for Julian. I was not expecting it to be so successful. Absolutely rampacked to hear what Stella and others had to say. And that evening, there was an event in the National Theatre in Strasbourg, absolutely full also. People want to hear Julian's story. They need to hear Julian's story. The personal story, stuck in this horrible place, the Belmarsh Prison, isolated, unable to act in any kind of normal way, and he is a remand prisoner. Normally remand prisoners are either released on bail or given pretty good conditions in order to await any kind of process. Julian is a remand prisoner in the most awful conditions, in the most maximum of maximum security prisons in this country. And then, if, if, he's allowed to be removed to the United States. He will face a 175 year prison sentence, a death sentence, because that is what it is. It's up to us now, around the world, to raise the voice for Julian, and in raising that voice for Julian, we're raising the voice for truth, for peace, and justice around the world. And you know what? This campaign is long, it's hard, it's detailed, and it's enormous pressure on Stella and all those that are central to this campaign. So put your arms around them, give them the support and love they need and deserve, and put your arms around everyone else to get them to join in this campaign, to free this innocent man, that the truth may be told of the way in which the poorest and most oppressed people in the world are treated. And I'll finish with this. When all the horrors of 9-11 happened, followed by the invasion and occupation of Afghanistan. Trillions and trillions has been spent on military expenditure. Billions has gone into the war in Afghanistan. The troops and the military have now been withdrawn. And what's left behind? The poorest, most devastated place with the greatest denial of human rights of almost anywhere in the world. Military solutions don't usually work. It has to be about understanding the paranoia of those in power to protect their power, irrespective of the cost on innocent people who have no one to speak out for them. Julian spoke out for the innocent victims all around the world of unaccountable military power. Thank you, Julian, for all you did. Thank you for all your support for this campaign. Let's get Julian out. Thank you.